Hello everybody! In this video I will show you a new and also bigger version of my water structuring device. And I made this because it has been requested a lot. So yeah, there it is. Also quick comparison to the smaller version. In terms of effectiveness they are both kind of the same. It's just with the bigger version you can structure more water faster than with this one, obviously. So the main difference is the center hole is one millimeter larger in diameter compared to this version. So the water will pass through a bit faster, not much faster, but a bit faster. And this is compensated by just more water that's held in this device for a longer time compared to the smaller version. So it has roughly an equal time of being um, restructured by the strong magnetic field that is um, produced by the strong magnet array that we have here. And in the video I will show you how you can um, make and assemble this device, also how to use it, and in the end I will answer some frequency, frequently asked questions. So let's start off with how to build it. So it is made from three parts. We have here the top part here. You print it like this on the print bed like this. You don't need any supports. Just print it slowly because of the overhangs. You can't print it too fast or it will not turn out that beautiful. And yeah, also notice um, you should mirror the file in your slicer along this axis so you get a clockwise water flow otherwise you will have a counterclockwise water flow depends on what you want. I personally prefer the clockwise water flow. Also you will need the magnet array itself. This is made up of 59 um, 8 mm neodymium magnets. These are N45 grade. Looks just like this. 8 mm cube magnet. And you insert them. I use a tool like this, a screwdriver with a flat top. And then I just take the magnet like this and insert them here. And you will see it's kind of tricky because the magnets are so strong and the field created is really strong and yeah, to basically always get attracted to the magnet next to it when you place them in a hole here so it's best to wear gloves so the magnets don't bite you and you have more force to just push them in like this but yeah, you can surely do it just be patient start out here in the center and then work yourself from the center, um, row by row, to the outside here. Then it will be the easiest to push the magnets in. And make sure with a compass or another tool that all the south poles are facing to the inside. So all the faces that you see here are all south poles. So we get a strong and uniform south pole field here. And I can quickly show you with a magnetic viewing film what the field looks like. This is when I get right close to it, then I can also show you the inside portion. Hope you can see that bright spot in the center and also the white line here, right where the hole is. This is where the polarity flips. Yeah, I showed this array in more detail in, in a different video. so. This is just a quick overview for you to get an idea of what the array looks like and the field of this array looks like. So as you can see, the magnetic field um, extends out in this direction really far, which is what we want because that's where all the water is rotating through the field itself. And this is also what mainly structures the field when it's passing through the magnetic field itself. And also, you need this bottom part, it's printed like this, 
obviously it's easy to print and then if you have these three parts you just take some glue and put it right on this surface where all of the magnets are not here and not in there because then the glue will ooze out you don't want it also don't use too much glue and then you just yeah obviously take them push them together wait until the glue dries then you do the same here just add some glue on this inner surface here don't use too much glue otherwise it will ooze out and it will be messy to clean up and yeah attach it on here wait until the glue dries and you're finished and you have your device so that's how easy it is to build it relatively and I will also quickly show you um, the iterations that I made with this device so I didn't come up with this device or with this magnet array first first I started with a magnet array like this where I have 40 of these neodymium disc magnets that are 10 mm in diameter and 6 mm tall but I figured out that in terms of price 60 or 59 of these cube magnets are the same price than 40 of these ones and yeah since the magnet density is much higher with this one also the field is much stronger than on this one so I can also quickly show you this with the gauss meter here is my probe here you see the display hope you can see it quite well so if I hover over here you can see gauss reading of around 70 millitesla here in the center around 55 and of course depends on where you measure but I've measured it thoroughly and yeah overall this array is around 30 to 40 percent strong in the gauss reading so obviously that's why I use this one so I will now show you how to use it of course so I will just take a container and the device itself and place it on top of here so in terms of how to use it it should be quite obvious you fill in the water here here um, a water vortex is created and that is passed through the magnetic field and this is what actually restructures the water so I will quickly show you that I will fill in water here and as you can already see water vortex is created in the main funnel because it's a hyperbolic funnel and it will take some time to actually pass all the water through uh, as a, it's not the best to view on the camera but in real life you can see it quite well that in the center there is an air vortex that is passed through and on the sides it's just water looks really beautiful and it works really nice is I think a very efficient way to restructure water because it's passed through in a fast motion through the strong magnetic field which is a quite effective way of restructuring water and so now I will answer some frequently asked questions some people asked if it is a problem if you use plastic or they suggested to use copper so this already looks like copper but this is of course um, 3d printed plastic there is no copper in it but the plastic that I use is um, made from PLA this is a plastic that is mostly made out of cornstarch and of course some additives for the color but it is considered mostly food safe but anyways it's I don't think it matters which type of plastic you use the water is only in contact with the device for a few seconds and that is not enough time to dissolve substantial amounts of plastic into the water 
there's probably much more microplastic in the water already that you fill in that word and the water just needs some time to yeah dissolve um, big amounts of plastic that would be worth mentioning like in a yeah bottled water where it sits in there for years and not just is in contact with it for seconds and also some people asked if structured water is actually real I can tell you yes it is I've done lots of experiments with seed growth and other stuff you can definitely see a difference and there were done um, researches by other people like Luc Montagnier you should look it up he did um, experiments and studies with universities all around the world and they proved it very well that water can hold a memory and yeah a strong magnetic field is the best way to erase that and you should always do that with the water that you drink regardless if you're aware of it or not it will you will benefit from it so I will also sell this of course because not everyone has a 3d printer or does want to build one itself yourself so I have it available in three colors like this in blue and purple and also in a darker copper colored version like this here you will find it in my shop which is linked in the description and yeah I hope this question uh, this answered most of your questions and I wish you happy holidays Merry Christmas have a nice time with your family if you have one so thanks for watching have a nice day and goodbye.